to the future of space, where this morning a Houston astronaut is on his way back home. Now, this follows weeks of drama with Russia after the leader of their space agency had threatened to leave NASA astronaut Mark Van de Heij on the space station because of the fallout from the war with Ukraine. Now, Van de Heij is returning after a record-breaking journey in space. KPRC2's Kathy Hernandez live at the Johnson Space Center with the latest on the journey. Kathy, good morning. Good morning to you. Definitely a big day. Flight engineer Mark Van de Heij and two cosmonauts are making their way back to Earth. Here's a live look from NASA TV. At 534, they'll begin the deorbit burn. That's the last push to bring the capsule out of orbit and back to Earth. They're scheduled to land in Kazakhstan at 628 Houston time. This is video from this morning. They closed the hatch between their Russian Soyuz spacecraft and the docking module of the ISS space station. They undock nearly two hours later. Van de Heij, along with Pewter de Brouve, <clears throat> launched to the space station last April. They completed nearly 5,700 orbits of Earth and traveled more than 150 million miles around our planet. Van de Heij has now broken the record for the longest single space flight by an American astronaut previously held by Scott Kelly. The extended mission will allow researchers to study the effects of long-duration spaceflight on the human body. After landing, Van de Heij will travel back to Houston here aboard a jet, and that is the same way other NASA astronauts have done it. Of course, we'll continue to follow their journey back to Earth throughout this newscast. Reporting live at the Johnson Space Center, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC2 News. Kathy.